Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Hello girls, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling? Hopefully you are all doing wonderful. So today we're here to react to a video that has been sent to me countless times over the past couple of years. And I've kind of just avoided it, but today we are eventually going to be getting around to this video. Now this channel that we're going to be reacting to is called Alpha Male, which in itself, we already know is going to be a hot take girl. If you don't know very much about the Alpha Male community on YouTube, it's, um, let's just say the birthplace, the breeding ground is just fueled of like toxic masculinity, misogyny, homophobia, transphobia. Like it's the kind of men that go, it's okay to manipulate women into sleeping with you. Tips to trick women into sleeping with you. Tips to play the game to get women to sleep with you. And if you don't do this, it means you're a beta male and you're not a real man. And you know, it's gay to cry. So don't cry because no woman's going to want to be a man with who cries. Like it's just, it's just a cesspool of toxic masculinity. The video that I'm going to be reacting to from this guy is called Top 10 Piercing Don'ts. How to avoid stupid piercings and looking trashy. So we know it's going to be a wonderful video. But anyway, guys, let's not be around the bush and get straight on to this video. Do we really want to? Gentlemen, before I start this video, I just want to make sure you know I'm your boy. You are probably going to disagree with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think that I feel I like I'm gonna video. disagree with a you're lot of stuff. You're piercing. Well, can, okay, just, just before I say anything, can I just before I say anything? He has his earlobes done, and that's it. Why are you talking about the community when you're not like? I don't understand why you're making a video about these piercings. Don't do these piercings; it makes you look trashy. You li like you're not. Okay, okay, I can't. I, I need to wait. Let me just wait. Like I just find it. Uh, piercing don't number one. Piercing don't number don't one. Don't pierce your. Don't pierce food. your junk. Okay. Alpha Prince Alpha I mean, it hurts. Dope. All the chicks when I whip that thing out, they're like, "Oh my God, Brian. Okay. Why'd you do that?" Piercing don't number two. Your belly button. I've seen like. So that's it. That's all he's gonna say. Don't pierce your penis. Why? And then literally zero, like, oh my God. I don't know why I was expecting, okay. So he just said, don't pierce your junk. Okay, fair enough. Like, if you want to pierce your junk, go ahead. It's not something that I want to do, but if you want to do it, fine. Just there's obviously comes a risks and pros and cons and stuff. Like if you're going to, if you're going to critique a piercing, you would say, you know, you know, it could go wrong. You know, it's just obviously a very delicate area. It might take a little bit while to heal. You know, it's a difficult piercing to get and stuff and have, you know, the healing process. But he's just said, don't get it done and literally given zero explanation to what like why why piercing don't number piercing two number two your belly button belly i've bu seen like one dude have their belly, I had my button, belly button pierced when i saw Ten it years. i was like <laughs> and he found it funny <laughs> that one's for chicks is that it see that he just says this one's for chicks he said so far ones that look trashy but he's like not telling like he, he's not saying anything as to why they look trashy he's just said don't do it and then the second one was belly button piercing it was don't do it because when i saw my friend have one i laughed at him well, you're a twat then. He's, I saw a guy with a belly button piercing and I laughed at him. Yeah, because you probably bullied kids at school who were gay. Predominantly, belly button piercings more so on women and gay men. It's not as common to see it on straight men, but this is the kind of attitude that makes people not want to express themselves. And you can just tell by the way he said that. Like, when I saw the, the last time I saw a guy with a belly button piercing, I, like, laughed at him. Like, says it all, girls. Says it all. Reeks of, like, fucking misogyny and homophobia. Number three. Number three. Don't pierce your nipple. Don't pierce your nipples. nipples. Why? 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 Why are you going to tell me? Because you just don't, like, just... I'm about to show you something that you probably just getting didn't know you were I mean, going to see no. this morning. This oh, is a nice nipple. Very aesthetic. Unlike this mutant. Look at that thing. It's all crazy nuts wide. They look and basically identical. Bumps and what? I went to college. I was 18. I was like, yo, I totally need to get my nipple pierced. I convinced my friend Mike to take me to a tattoo parlor. We're actually getting a backstory to this one. Jesus Christ. How bad does it hurt? He goes, go out to the car and slam your dick in the door. I go, it hurts that bad? Okay, so it he hurts said, a lot. Pop. Ah! The first three piercings, all from the neck down. Wait, that if it? you want to do it, if you want to have... What's the question of being trash? You've just said it's about you said looking trashy and you give you just said because it, it hurts. Don't get it done because it hurts. Because it hurts. Of course piercings hurt. You're getting a needle shot for your body. Of course it's gonna hurt. That was your explanation as to why not to get it done because it hurts? But you've called the video how to avoid to looking trashy. And you've not once said anything. But now let's talk about piercing from the neck <sighs> up, God, starting with the nose. More specifically, the nostril. So number four is don't pierce your nostrils if you want to work someplace other than Starbucks. But even Starbucks isn't okay with number five. That's... Don't. 
piercer sept. So he's just gone into nose piercing the septum and said, oh my God, what an ignorant person. Like what an ignorant thing to say that you can own, the your only place you're gonna get a job if you have a nose piercing is somewhere like Starbucks. This video is only a couple years old. It's not that old. This isn't like filmed in the nineties where like piercings were, you know, looked down upon. This is such a shitty, ignorant thing to say. He's the kind of person that will look down on retail workers. He will look down on retail workers. He will look down on this kind of stuff. Just from that attitude, it's very clear that that's how he would react. Just because you don't think a specific work is someone being successful, doesn't mean that they're not successful. Like all you need to be in life is happy. This whole idea of you need to be a fucking lawyer. You need to be this like high up doctor somewhere. Like, no, you need people in every aspect of life. And some people are more than happy to work in retail. Some people are more than happy to work in pubs or, you know, shops or anything. And just because you don't deem that as successful, that's, that's such a shitty take to have on people. Like, and there's so many industries now that are are more than happy to accept people who like like teachers. I know many teachers now who have tattoos and piercings who are very openly about how to, and they don't care. There are like pe there are, there are lawyers who have tattoos, but it's such a ignorant, vintage thing to say. I just I can't. When most people see people and they've got their septum pierced. It looks kind of, what's the word? A little trashy, in my opinion. There we I go. I know how uncool I am, and I know that- No, no, most people don't think that. You think that, and you're trying to make it seem that most people, because you want your opinion to be the right opinion. Awful. You've probably seen chicks that have been like, smoking mind-boggling hot with their septum piercing, and you're like, dude, that looks dope. But if she was a wildebeest, it'd be nasty. Number- Don't call women wildebeest, like what, like you bell end. Don't pierce your, seriously, tongue. there is nothing more annoying and distracting than when you're talking to somebody and they're all, mm, they're flipping and flicking and, and messing with their tongue ring. But alpha chicks that have tongue rings give amazing BJs. Oh my God, it must be that tongue ring. It's not the tongue ring, it's a mouth. The funny thing is he's expecting these people want to have sex with him, no girl. I will say, when you when you have your tongue piercing, don't play with it because it will damage your teeth. It's so annoying that like there's so many things that he could have said about these piercings that have, you know, actual valid reasons to maybe avoid or pro. But he's just saying, say, look, well, half of them are saying just because I don't want you to have them, don't get them. Tongue piercings, you know, they can damage your teeth. If you play with the bar, they can chip your teeth. You know, there's a, you know, you have to, only specific people can get tongue piercings because your veins can be certain size. I cannot get a tongue piercing because my tongue, my veins are too big. And there's a possibility of like me like bleeding out. It's like, there are valid reasons, but it's just, it, this, this person is just spewing out ignorance. And it, the problem is, is it's not, I don't care what he thinks about me. I really could not give a shit. Generally don't care. The problem is, is like the amount of influence he will have over people. Cause he's got, uh, what? 6.3 million subscribers, like insanity. The uh, the amount of people like more more so younger, m younger guys who may look up to him, who may want to experiment or express themselves slightly differently. Like I don't, I don't know how many of them will actually watch an alpha male channel, but like all this is doing is implanting all of these like really shit hot takes on things and misogyny all this stuff into younger people who might look up to him, who might find him and be like, yeah, piercings are shit. Yeah, if I see a girl with a nose ring, I'm going to call her a wildebeest. Like it's, it's, it's just, it, it's implementing all of this negativity into young generations who may look at this person it's just oh awful awful don't pierce your lips don't pierce all your right, lips ready here's a little non-verbal communication test ready check it out ready what am i doing i'm smiling all of a sudden you're like wow he smiled yes that's such an amazing non-verbal communication thing that he's doing you can i automatically like him i engage you can with smile him. with My a lip God, piercing in make out with him now let's do it again what about now right do you still notice my amazing smile? We can all smile. What are you, what are you talking about? There's many different versions of lip piercings. So many different versions. Studs, spikes, hoops, horseshoes. Like there's so many different various things you can have. This is just a huge oversized ring he's just put on his lip. Like this isn't representative of what lip piercings like. So dumb. This is so dumb. Number eight, don't pierce your brows. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying in my opinion. Don't shoot the mess. You're not the messenger. This isn't you. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger as if like all these people have come up to you and been like, we don't like this, you need to tell the people. You can only say, don't shoot the messenger if you're passing a message that like you've been given by someone else. This is your opinion. So don't say don't shoot the messenger. You know
stupid. The more shit you stick in your face, the less chance you are to actually like again. Ascend the what ladder. a caveman thing to say. And this goes for earrings too. One thing I will say: if you're getting into ear piercing and you're gonna get into stretching the lobes, just understand that you are doing permanent damage. No, just know that's that not if you true. take them out, that's you're gonna look true. like you've got that's ear buttholes. True. Looks like shriveled ear buttholes. And then if you want to have it fixed, you have to have it cut. See, that's not true. That's gen like, yes, if you get to a certain size, you will have to get them stitched up. But you can stretch your ears many times before that even happens. Like, if I took this out, I could quite easily have the shrink down to normal. Like, I this I don't need surgery to fix that. Again, ignorance. He's just being it's just ignorance. Ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. Again, it's nothing to do with being trashy either. I don't say what. And last but certainly not least, piercing dough number 10 don't do any dermal implants. Why? I'm just saying, you don't, hey, um, look, I know that your mom told you not to and so did Pops, right? And that was the end of the video. So what can we take away from this video? First of all, ignore everything he said, disregard everything he said because it's just, it's just literally a load of shit. Like everything he just said then was just pointless and useless. There was, there was no explanations, no, it was just, I don't like them, therefore don't get them. I love the fact that he said 10 piercings not to get because, you know, they're stupid and trashy, okay? Yet then literally listed off basically every kind of piercing that's like you could get. Like, so basically what he's saying is I don't like piercings, therefore don't get them. Like, it's so stupid. Like, it's so stupid. You can't come online hating piercings and body modifications and then say, well, you should avoid these ones from looking trashy. You can't do that. I don't like, I don't know, rock music. I'm not a fan of rock music. I wouldn't come online and be like 10 riffs and 10 notes you should not do in rock music to stop your song sounding shit like because i don't like the genre i can't critique something like it's just stupid that i'm not objectively critiquing it you are not objectively critiquing piercings because you clearly hate piercings and hate men to express themselves in any way other than the way you express yourself what i find funny about this is he's got his earlobes pierced he wants his earlobes pierced to find get your earlobes pierced so he's like what he's saying is don't get these piercings unless i've got them because if i've got them that means they're okay but if you get them it means ill no disgust it's just it's just this is the kind of content that these alpha male people do like it's just such a my way of living is the right way and you should change your way because i don't like it's just awful and i just it has un, like real s disgusting undertones of misogyny homophobia trans like it's all this kind of stuff like the whole community he, he is one of many people on the internet who do this alpha male stuff where it just reeks of this shit like i just absolutely loathe it if you are a guy and you're try like and you want to express yourself in any way you want to please do that don't let people like this who go, I laugh at people with males with belly buttons. How, like, don't let people like this put you off. If you, and if you know, if you're, if anyone, this goes for anyone in gender, any, any, any sex, race, religion, anything. If you want to express yourself, just do it. And don't let anyone else determine what you do and who you are and what you want to do. Like, it's just stupid. Don't, don't ever listen to people like this or anyone else on the internet telling you that you shouldn't do it because I don't like it. There are certain, there are, there are kind of pieces that I don't like that I don't think, but if you want them, go ahead. I'm never going to look at you and go, ugh, awful. There are ones that are dangerous, like snake eye piercings, because they actually can really f you up. That I will be a little bit more sort of really think about what you're doing, because you shouldn't do this because it's dangerous. That whole video is just pointless and judgmental. You're not part of the community. You clearly just dislike piercings. Anyway, guys, I'm well and truly aboard the trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the way, about to crash over a cliff and plunge to my death. Bad bitch. Trigger train T-shirts available down below. Um, I yes, guys, this this was a lot, girls. I can't, I can't. People like this, people like this, I just hate. It's like the, it's just it's just the judgmental people who like aren't objectively looking at things and just pass their own opinions off as fact and like as always guys make sure you please hit the like button because that's really really help me out subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are upcoming hopefully you guys are enjoying my videos uh, leave me a comment down below what do you think about this um god it's a lot girl a massive gorgeous shout out to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the screen here, girls, and an extra special shout out when I get the names up on my phone to my extra special top tier Patreons. Amanda LePayton, Austin Filden, BoosterShot93, Brenna, Casey, Cassie Hill, Cat McHuman, Kerry Evans, Chill Herman, Christopher John, Robbie, Corin Pemberton, Demetri Settle, James Burgess, Jessica MG, Joyner Price, Caitlin Wright, Kat L, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Lurie, Lucy Robbins, Crisp, Megan Holly, Maura Gainey Wolf, Samuel Patterson, Steffi Tech, and Suz Mac. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. There's a link down below if you'd like to become a Patreon as well. I'll see you back on Monday for a brand new video, and I will be streaming on the weekend on Twitch. We're going to be playing some Fortnite girls. So come over and we'll have a little battle royale girls. Um, but anyway, be fine. It's amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be and get any piercings you want because bitch, people like this don't need to determine your life.